This is for preparing your system. When you receive your system, make sure the system is included with the actual system itself, uh, air filters, and the spare parts, cartridges, and all the chips. Okay. When you receive a system and the air hose has more than 10 inches of air space, we will show you a process of removing that air and, and have the air flow through the cartridges. But before you do any of this process, you want to make sure that you are in an area where you can clean it up easily and you don't have to worry about the messes. First thing you want to do is want to make sure that the roller is rolled down all the way down. This will make sure that the air and the ink will flow through from the system to the cartridges. Okay. Right now we're going to remove <coughs> the air from the yellow. First thing you want to do is insert the syringe into the air vent. Slowly pull the plunger up and watch for the for the ink to flow through to the cartridges. Okay. Okay, when you are finished, you want to remove the syringe out of the air vent slowly and you don't want to push the plunger back into the cartridges. The air will cause a leakage. Okay. This is the process for installing a CIS system and for the Epson R280. Okay. Please refer to your manual on how to change the cartridges. And you want to make sure that the cartridge holder is in this position so you may access it easily. At this time you want to unplug your printer before you go on. Okay, and now we're going to remove the cartridge cover by inserting a screwdriver in between this area. And you want to pop that item off so that you can remove the cartridge cover easily. Okay, at this time we will be installing the ink system cartridges into the printer. I'm going to go ahead and place them in their right spot and click them down to play into place. Okay. Right now you want to take the hink hose and place it under the bar. About two and a half to three inches into this area. And you want to move your cartridge carrier back and forth until you have enough hose. And you can adjust it by moving it with this clip. Okay, once you have the spot, go ahead and attach it to the underside of your printer. Okay, in this area, right there. Right now, you want them to remove the caps and please save them for later. And then install your air filters in their place. Okay. When you're installing any CIS system, you want to make sure that the ink system is at the same level as your printers to prevent any gravitational leakage. Now this time you want to plug your printer back on.
Okay, if your printer does not recognize the cartridges, go ahead and press the button. And again, you want to position the cartridge holder in an accessible place. Okay, you want to lift these cartridges one by one, about a quarter of an inch, to um, unattach the contact of the chips to the printer. And then you want to clip them back down into place. And you want to go ahead and press your button again. Okay, once you get a solid green light, you're ready to go.